Joining us now, the ranking member of House Budget, he's Congressman Jason Smith, along with Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich. Okay, first to you, Congressman. All that government spending we're just talking about, right? There's also talk of 87,000 new IRS agents. But the president in swing state Pennsylvania today, he talked about funding cops after Democrats defund police crushed cops. What do you make of this? You cannot spend your way out of inflation. Every policy that this administration and the one-party Democrat rule is putting forward is making inflation worse. They have spent seven and a half trillion dollars last year in the House of Representatives in just new spending. In order to spend seven and a half trillion dollars, you have to spend $10 million every day since Jesus Christ was born, Liz. This is why inflation is up at a 40 year high. And what do they want to do? Spend more money. Give more but, money away. But they're where's the money for the cops? On everything. But but the but the president is saying that the Republicans were against funding cops. What do you say to that? <laughs> Yeah, well, the president will say anything. Republicans are all about our law enforcement and funding our police. The, just up until a few weeks ago, this administration and so many members of Congress I serve with still, still was defunding the police. That's unacceptable. But now they're just trying to put shade and saying that Republicans are, are against law enforcement. No one buys yeah. that. No one's buying that bridge to nowhere. So now all of a sudden fund cops when you've been crushing them and demoralizing them and attacking them for nearly three years. You know, uh, Attorney General, Border Patrol Chief Raul Ortiz, he testified in a Florida lawsuit against Hom Homeland Security. That's the lawsuit against Homeland Security. He is saying, yeah, the border is in crisis under Biden. Let's watch this. Since President Biden was elected, does this document indicate that aliens illegally entering the United States perceive that they will be able to enter and remain in the United States? Yes. Is the crisis that is currently ongoing at the southern border uh, making the border less safe for Americans and aliens alike? Yes. So if migrant populations believe that they're going, there are not going to be consequences, they will, more of them will come to the border. Is that what you're saying? There's an assumption that if migrant populations are told that uh, there's a potential that they may be released, that yes, you can see increases. So it will increase at an exponential rate? Is that what is being suggested here? Well, I do think it will increase, yeah. Mr. Brnovich, but the president and the, the Homeland Security Secretary, they're saying the border is secure and it's just a challenge. The border chief is saying no, he's rebutting that. What do you make of this? Well, we know, Liz, from our own litigation that uh, ICE officials have testified that America is less safe and less secure as a result of the failure of the Biden administration's policies. And quite frankly, I'm actually surprised that uh, Joe Biden is campaigning in Pennsylvania instead of coming to the southern border because apparently the only place where he's more than 40 percent popular is amongst people illegally entering the country. And so um, Americans are paying the price every single day. Every state is a border state. And one, one stat, we keep losing sight of this. In Arizona this year, 50%, 57% of the overdose deaths are related to fentanyl. Just four years ago, it was 4%, Liz. You and I have talked about this on the air. There's a record amount of drugs coming yeah. into this country. We know the cartels have seized operational control. And every single day, Americans are paying the price, not only fiscally, but in lives lost because and of the you failure know what, of Joe you know, Biden. To what Mark just said, Congressman, University of Maryland study shows, indicates that the number of fentanyl overdoses is likely undercounted because hospital emergency rooms are not screening for fentanyl. Let's get back to this. We've got reports that 700,000 illegal border crossers this fiscal year from Asia, China, and the Mideast. We're talking Iran and Syria and Pakistan. The president has never been to the border since he came to D.C. in the Nixon area. He's never been there. What do you th He keeps saying the border is secure, but he's never been there. And they want tens of thousands of new IRS agents to go after U.S. taxpayers and small businesses, not for border patrol, not for more cops. What's happening here? It's ridiculous. It's a lack of leadership. The fact that the president has never been to the southern border. I've been to the southern border numerous times. Of course, the attorney general lives along the southern border. It's a disaster. More than 3.2 million people have illegally crossed the border since he's been, been in office. And the fact that 
over 170 different countries have crossed the southern border. 170 different nationalities across the world have crossed the southern border. It is not secure. The American people know it. That's why it is on their top of their concerns on almost everything right behind inflation. And House Republicans say they're going to probe this along with Hunter Biden and other issues. You know, if you take back control, Mark, you know, thousands of children and migrants die by record numbers trying to cross illegally. It's dangerous. You talked about it. Drug and human traffickers that get killed by them. The brutal terrain kills them. Where is the far left squad and all that posturing by Democrats that went to the border under the prior administration? Do they no longer care? Were those visits by AOC and Senator Elizabeth Warren and more, nothing more than photo ops to score political points? What's happening there? Yeah, obviously, um, intellectual honesty and consistency is not something that AOC or the far left cares about. The only time they started even addressing the border is when places like Washington DC in Washington DC and New York City had to start dealing with giving free hotel rooms to people that had legally entered the country. But just going back to what you brought up, Liz, about the miners. It is estimated that there is a hundred and more than 140 every single day unaccompanied minors coming into our country. Okay. Kids that are being exploited by the cartels. So we're talking about the entire population of, you know, Macon, Georgia, in one year, unaccompanied minors coming over here. Got it. We are paying the cost. All right, I got to get to this. 277 terrorists on the watch list. Yeah. 277, Congressman now caught at all ports of entries this fiscal year. That's more than the last fiscal year combined. I, I have to bring a personal note into this, and I'm going to reveal it to the reviewer, viewer. We never talk about it. My sister lost her brother-in-law, a fireman, in 9-11, okay? A bunch of those guys are gone. So a generation after 9-11, and where is the, well, how come the lack of focus on this? Liz, it's unaccepted, and it's, it's unacceptable that this administration, by the stroke of the pen, stopped uh, the border wall construction. Over $1.4 billion was appropriated in a, con in a bipartisan fashion to secure the border. By the stroke of the pen, stop the remain in Mexico policy. He's doing this all by the stroke of the pen. He's allowing the southern border to be porous. People are able to cross there. He's empowering the Mexican cartel to make a huge, huge windfall of money by charging people to cross the southern border, including terrorists. It's devastating. It's horrendous. He should not be campaigning in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. He should be at the southern border. Congressman Smith, Mark Brnovich, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you.